Hi, and welcome to the Bosnia and Herzegovina vlog, episode 10. Nine was uh, my first flight around the garden with the DJ Spark. Um, there's a link down there if you haven't already seen it. Uh, it's still boiling hot here in the Western Balkans. It's oh, half past 10 in the morning. Uh, and as you can see, it's roasty toasty hot and uh, blue skies uh, all over again. So today's vlog, we're going inside where Tam is going to make some pesto, homemade pesto sauce for us with her Balkan twist. And just in case that you follow Tam's channel, which I'll also put below, which is Fit and Healthy After 40, she's put it there as well. So this is a special edit for this channel. Hello everyone, in today's video I would like to show you how I make a pesto sauce. Every summer I make my own pesto sauce because I have all the fresh ingredients and I grow my own basil and it's very easy to make wherever you are in the world you are going to have all these ingredients and I have a little special twist that makes this pesto sauce much cheaper than the store-bought sauce. So let's start it and for this recipe you're gonna need the following ingredients. You will need some fresh basil leaves, about three cups. And the special ingredients that I'm using that are different from the store-bought pesto, we don't have here pine nuts and then if I find in a health store they are so expensive. So instead of pine nuts I'm using sunflower seeds. Another ingredient that you're going to need about a cup of garlic. And then you're going to need a parmesan cheese. You will also need juice of one lemon. Three cups of olive oil. Two teaspoons of sea salt. However, if you're vegan, you don't have to use Parmesan cheese. You can just use the rest of the ingredients. So, what do I use pesto sauce for? Perfect for cooking. Whatever I cook, I put one tablespoon in to spice up my meals. I make a lot of tomato sauce. I make my own ketchup at home, which the recipe will come soon. So let's mix this all together. The first thing to do is to place everything in a food chopper. First I put basil because it's easier to get them blended. Then garlic. Sunflower seeds. Parmigiano Reggiano. Salt, lemon juice, and olive oil. Let's blend this now. Ooh, nice. We'll give it just a few more spins. Okay, now the pasta sauce is ready. You want to get this consistency, you want to get bits and pieces, you don't want to make it like a paste. And I'm ready to place it in my jar. And there we go. Here's your pasta sauce. You can keep it in the fridge or in a cool place. The olive oil gets a little bit solid, solidified. Do you say solidified? Solidified. Solidified. Thank you, cameraman. So solidified and then it's very hard to take it. I will keep it in a cool place, probably in my cabinet. And I will use this in my cooking. How cool is this? So do try that pesto sauce. I can tell you it's first class and I just love it uh, over spaghetti. Well, that's it for this edition of a very, very hot, humid um, episode of the Bosnian Herzegovina vlog. 
catch you next time but please remember to like share and subscribe of course if you want to it would be really helpful and i will catch you very very soon Thank you.